year it's been for food. Oh, geez, is that? There it is. Yeah. Here are some spots we visited that really stuck with us. Jim loved Junkichi Robata on Capitol Hill. They specialize in izakaya, informal Japanese pub fare, and robata, foods grilled over Japanese charcoal. Jim's favorite part was probably Sota, a robot who can remember repeat diners. Dono, Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Jimmy was also a big fan of Maslow's in South Lake Union. It's part of a paid apprenticeship program with Fair Start, helping people out of poverty through on-the-job training. A great mission and mac and cheese worth fighting over. No, no, no. Michael hasn't stopped talking about RN74 in downtown Seattle. Their French-inspired entrees were très magnifique, but it was a dessert that stole his heart. Mm. OMG. Look at that. Sugar pie pumpkin cheesecake. In Portland that treats our Pasta fresca had Michael's favorite menu because there is no menu. Chef Mike Ori creates original dishes for every customer, depending on their taste and dietary restrictions. Yeah, I love this place because it's a surprise. You never know what you're going to get. One of the most unique experiences we have ever had. This is awesome. <laughs> Saint loved this South Sound restaurant, Pimienta Bistro in Federal Way. It's fine dining in an unintimidating space, a fusion of the owner's Latin American roots with European cuisines. Everything we tasted was truly exceptional. Saint also raved about the Chinese food at Peony Modern Kitchen in Old Bellevue. You can't beat the presentation of the tea smoked free range chicken. Oh, I like that. Real smoke. And Saint couldn't get enough of the whole five spice crispy duck. Jose was a big fan of Big Chicky in Hillman City, and not just because they have great t-shirts. The outdoor seating is ideal for summer, and the Peruvian-style charcoal rotisserie chicken, also known as pollo a la brasa, is delicious any time of year. I absolutely loved Seattle Biscuit Company in the Freelard neighborhood. Chicken and waffles, hot skillet breakfasts, authentic Southern-style biscuit sandwiches, there is nothing I wouldn't eat here. Full disclosure, I've been back with my family twice since. We also have an all-staff pick, Buddha Brada in Rainier Valley. This family-run restaurant started as a food truck, and their menu is part Hawaiian and part Thai and 100% scrumptious. We order takeout for every work event we possibly can. We could stuff our faces here every day if we wanted.